Scrap that is not recycled within the plant is sold outside. Although this is a deduction against material cost, the scrap price is usually only a small fraction of the purchase price. Most die casting scrap is recycled in plant as noted above. Scrap from most other processes is generally sold at a very low return. Die castings usually require very little metal removal by finish machining operations. They are equivalent in this respect to powdered metal, stamped, and precision molded plastic components. Some features of foundry casting require substantial finish allowances and automatic screw machining generates large amounts of scrap, sometimes exceeding the volume often product produced. Scrap from machining operations brings in a very low return. Copper alloys such as brass are an exception. These chips bring in substantial return. The volume of material in a component varies with the manufacturing process. High precision and thin wall capabilities of die casting process offers the latitude to design according to performance requirements rather than being restricted by process constraints. Die casting can often be made with very thin walls and carefully located reinforcing features such as ribs and webs, which develop the required structural properties with less material than most alternative processes. The volume of material in die casting is usually much less than an injection molded plastic component. The difference is attributed to the superior mechanical properties of die casting alloys, particularly stiffness.